As South Africa struggles to keep the lights on, any moves to add more watts to the grid is generally cheered. But let's focus on one of the more controversial planned projects by Car Powership. Car Powership is the Turkish company hoping to supply electricity via ship-mounted power plants at three of South Africa's harbours. It won the lion's share of a tender to supply emergency power in 2021. But so far, it's been unable to get environmental approval for any of the projects. Environmentalists have pointed to the potential damage. Well, the Department of Transport has now confirmed that it gave car power ship mooring rights for the ports of Richards Bay, Saldana and Ura three months ago. To discuss, we're joined by the Department of Transport spokesperson, Colin Msibi. Mr Msibi, thank you for, for being with us. Uh, so can you confirm the, the reports that the Minister of Transport gave these mooring rights, as they are called, on the 26th of February? Uh, good evening and thanks for having us. Yes, indeed, uh, we can confirm that uh, the approval was granted in February uh, this year. Uh, so, yes, it is true. The, the, we've, that's why we've actually issued a statement uh, yesterday to just confirm and to pronounce that indeed there was approval granted. Yeah. Uh, but this is almost two months down the line. Why were you quiet about this initially? Well, there isn't any legislative requirement for us to publish the approvals of, of this nature. So we, we had to issue this statement because it was becoming some kind of uh, controversial issue in terms of how it was being reported. So we had to come out in the clear to say we haven't done anything wrong. Uh, but the public must also understand our approval doesn't mean that uh, the car power ship must start operating tomorrow. They must still go through the uh, NPA, uh, Ports Authority. They must go through the Environmental Department to get their own approvals in terms of, for instance, the environmental assessments and so forth. Mm. So uh, for us, we, when we received the application, which was about two years ago, so we had to write to the NPA to say, are you able, can you consider uh, 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 working with this particular company? And they came back to us and said yes. And that is why our, our approval was on the basis of our yeah. own consultation with the NPA. Okay, but, but the fact that it was not released publicly, I, I understand what you're saying. There's no obligation on you to tell us about this, but you obviously are aware there's some concern about foreigners benefiting from our power problems, about potential corruption as we try to power up the grid uh, in a very fast manner, about possible environmental damage. Don't you think your department being quiet about something like this uh, makes it worse, the, the skepticism even worse? Well, for the past, I would say, eight years, we've granted the approval of, of applications of this nature, about six or, or seven of them. We've never had to go and publicly say, this is what we've done. But in this particular case, we've had to do so because we see that there is a need to do so, especially because there seems to be controversy around these issues coming out of, uh, we, we are hearing that there's obviously a record of uh, uh, refusal by the Department of, of Environmental Affairs, so which has created quite a lot of uh, concern. And that is why we had to come out and say, this is what we've done, but there are conditions attached to the approval. Doesn't mean that they must operate uh, 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 right away. They must still go back to the NPA. If NPA decides that they're not gonna Work, with, work to that with, with them. So it, it is basically their problem. It's not our problem. Yeah. We've done ours. They've asked to get access, and we've said yes, you can. We've consulted. So, but if NPA still says no, we cannot work with you. It is. It's going to be the NPA's decision, which is a landlord. Uh, are you talking about the the ports authority? Because apparently there's a hitch in that Transnet wants to use one of the ports, um, URA, for something else, for a liquid bulk terminal. So is there now some conflict? Is there any sort of dispute with Transnet wanting to put something in the harbour while you have approved uh, the the car power ship ships? Hans, I'm saying to you, the consultation with TNPA was to say, these are the people who would want to work in the harbors, the three harbors we've identified, which is Moha, uh, uh, Richards Bay, and Saldana Bay. So what needs to happen, the second step now, it would be for uh, Car Powership to approach N TNPA 
to okay. say this is what we would want to do. And it is up to the TNPA to then uh, uh, grant approval in, in terms of the work and the operations they All want right. to undertake at those so, so they still have to go through the Ports Authority. A, a very quick last question. This is a 20-year contract at the moment locking us in. Many South Africans may have innovative solutions in coming decades. There's con some concern about that. So I'm going to ask you what the Environmental um, Affairs Minister was asked. Was there any pressure from the President or Treasury or the Energy Minister who has championed this project to approve the, the moorings? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There was no pressure, absolutely. So it was the decision taken by, but we are required to consult, which is what we did. Uh, we, we're quite satisfied with the process we, we, we approached, I mean, we took. So we, there wasn't any pressure, absolutely no pressure in this regard. All right. Thank you for your time. That was uh, the Department of Transport spokesperson, Colin Msibi.